look at this exercise, example 2 or exercise 2, which says, suppose the firm's total fixed cost is 100 francs and then you have your output which has been given, which ranges from 1 to 6 and then your average variable cost given. And you are supposed to complete this table by calculating the values of average fixed cost, average total cost, total cost and marginal cost. It is very simple to go about this. We know that our total fixed cost does not change as output is changing. So that is why they have given us only one total fixed cost throughout the various output levels. So total fixed cost is constant. And how do we get our average fixed cost? Very simple. Average fixed cost is gotten by total fixed cost divided by output. Simple. So we are going to be taking 100 and dividing by the various output levels. 100 divided by 1 gives us 100. 100 divided by 2 gives us 50. 100 divided by 3, 33.33. So let's round it up. Okay, let's put 33.3. And then 100 divided by 4, we have 25. 100 by 5, we have 20. 100 divided by 6 is 16.6. So 16.6. Alright, we have our average variable cost and average fixed cost. So it is very easy to get our average total cost. Remember that when variable cost meets with fixed cost, they give us our total cost. So we just sum variable, average variable cost plus average fixed cost to have average total cost. So we take 5 plus 100, it gives us 105. 8 plus 50, we have 58. We have 10 plus 33.3 gives us 43.3. 15 plus 25, this gives us 40. 20 plus 20 gives us 40 as well. And then we have 30 plus 16.6, 46.6. And then our total cost can easily be gotten by multiplying average total cost by output. You remember we said that average total cost is per unit cost. Cost you spend on a single item. So if average total cost is cost you spend on a single item, then it is very easy to get your total cost by taking that cost you spend on a single item times the items you produce. That will give you your total cost. So therefore we are going to be multiplying the values of average total cost by our output to get our total cost. Okay, this is our total cost. And total cost, as I said, is simply gotten by multiplying average total cost by our output. If you do not have total variable cost and total fixed cost to sum together to get total cost, you can get it by multiplying average total cost by output. So when you take 1 times 105, it gives you 105. 2 times 58, it gives you 116. 3 times, um, times uh, 43.3 gives you 129.9. And then our marginal cost is simply calculated by change in total cost. This signifies change divided by change in output. Very simple. So we are going to to take 105 minus nothing. There is no change before this. That is why you see me putting a dash. And then you have the next, at the second level of output, the extra or additional cost that has been incurred as a result of the second output produced. You take the total cost at that second output, 116 minus the first total cost, minus 105, that gives you 16. That is 1, 116 minus 105. That is the change in total cost. Then we go to the denominator, which is change in output. 2 minus 1, which gives you 2 minus 1. And then that simplified gives you 11 divided by 1. And any value divided by 1 remains the same. So we have this minus this divided by this minus this giving us 11. And then we go to the next 129.9 minus 116 
divided by 3 minus 2. That gives us 13.9. 160 minus 129.9 divided by 4 minus 3 gives us 30.1. That is how we got our marginal cost. Okay, let us look at um, another little twist in all of this. Sometimes, instead of giving you a table to calculate uh, the total cost, total fixed cost, average variable cost, and all of those things, they instead give you what you know and ask for uh, output. Out ask that you should calculate output. But then there is no formula for calculating output. There is no ready-made formula for calculating output as we have formulas for the other cost concepts. But we can always get the output. Let me give you an example. Let us say that you are given this question. They say, suppose the total cost of an imaginary firm is 10,000 francs. And then the average variable cost of that firm is 100 francs. And that firm's total fixed cost is 6,000 francs. They ask you to calculate the output. How do you go about it? Is there any formula for calculating output? There is no formula, but we can always get a formula. How do we do that? What you do in this kind of a situation is you simply look for a formula that you know when you use it, you will make use of two of these concepts, two of these three concepts. You will have two values here that you will use and have only one unknown. For example, you ask yourself, if I want to calculate average variable cost, for example, will I be able to get total variable cost and get output? Will I be able to get the other component and have only output that is an unknown? If I want to calculate average fixed cost, for example, will I be able to get um, total fixed cost and have average fixed cost such that I lack only output as an unknown? So asking these questions, it is very obvious that we can work with average variable cost. We can calculate average variable cost here by saying that average variable cost is our solution we say that average variable cost is equal to total variable cost divided by output this is the formula for calculating average variable cost we have average variable cost which is given here we do not have total variable cost but we can get total variable cost how can we get total variable cost? We can get total variable cost by looking for the difference between total cost and total fixed cost. We can get total variable cost by looking for the difference between total cost and total fixed cost. So we say that but total variable cost is equal to total cost minus total fixed cost. So therefore, total variable cost is equal to our total cost of 10,000 minus our total fixed cost of 6,000. This will give us our total variable cost, which is 4,000 francs, if it is in France here. So we now have our average variable cost and total variable cost, and we lack just the output. We have only one unknown, the output. We can now solve for it. So we say, therefore, average variable cost is equal to total variable cost all over output. So we were already given our average variable cost in the equation as 100 francs. So we say that 100, we are substituting these values. 100 is equal to total variable cost which we just look for, we just solve for 4,000 4,000 divided by our output which is now our only unknown simple we can do cross multiplication to get our output simple, this is the same as 100 over 1, right? we cross multiply 100 times 
Cure gives us 100 Cure. And Cure stands for output. 1 times 4,000 gives us 4,000. So what are we looking for? We are looking for output. So we divide all through by the coefficient of Cure, which is 100. So we say 100 Cure divided by 100 is equal to 4,000 divided by 100. 100 takes care of 100. 100 goes into 4,000 how many times? 40 times. So we are left with cure being equal to 40. That is our output. We can prove that this answer is right. And how do we prove that this answer is right? Simple. We know that total variable cost can also be gotten as average variable cost times cure. If we know what, if we understood the concept of average variable cost. So, total variable cost is equal to our average variable cost, which was given as 100, 100 francs times cure, which we have solved to half 40. So, total variable cost is equal to 100 times 40 gives us 4,000 francs. And we can see that that is the value we have as our total variable cost, so we are correct.